UBS calls Google's upcoming earnings a catch-22 when it comes to generative AI. It says it could fail to live up to the chat GPT hype or its own AI roadmap could overcommit, raising concerns, more concerns, I should say, about margin erosion. Either way, the street expects it to be a dominant theme on the call tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, CNBC.com exclusively reporting Google is already testing chat GPT-like products internally with its employees as part of a, quote, code red response to OpenAI's viral chat bot. Here with me at One Market, the report who broke that story, Jennifer Elias. Always great to have you on set. Thanks. First, I want to talk to you about job cuts. We just heard another round from FedEx, Rivian. Um, there was this yeah. thought when Google cut that it was too little, about 6% of their workforce, given how much they hired during the pandemic. Is there still anxiety? Are you hearing about it at the company that there could be more to come? There definitely is some anxiety still, especially because the last layoffs kind of caught a lot of these employees off guard. Um, they didn't expect it to happen the way it did at Google. They thought maybe a smaller company, startup, Coinbase or something. That's understandable. So after that, I think for them, all bets are off and they could think and and they do think that there is potential, like, well, if it could happen to them, then it could happen to us. Right. No one's safe. And who knows if down the line this happens again. Right. And we've got we're going to hear from Sundar Pichai and Ruth Porat tomorrow after right. the earnings call and likely to hear some cost saving measures. One area where they're probably not cutting engineers is artificial intelligence. We know that this is something Google's been working on long before open AI went viral. Um, and they've actually been able to run through some of their own chat GPT like products. Yeah. What's the takeaway? Um, I know that there was some comparison, obviously skewed towards Google, but what are sort of the early signs saying? Yeah, it's interesting because what we reported yesterday was that they have so many different units working on this. They've redistributed resources and employees and told people, you may not, not see them on certain engineering meetings anymore. You might see them um, focus on Lambda, which is the um, smart chat uh, language model that Google uses for its chatbots. And we saw that they actually have a few different projects right now across different areas, um, not just in AI, in cloud, in the company's brain sector. Um, and one of them is Apprentice Bard, which is this chat GPT-like chatbot they're using internally with employees. And they can ask them things like, you know, write me a poem in a Wes Ander Anderson style or, you know, various detailed answers. And it uses current events. So that's something I think that they're hoping will work versus you know, something like ChatGPT, OpenAI still doesn't have those current events, so.